Yeah, I mean, you just said it. It's, uh, we're already limited. You know, we're already limited uh, in a sense that, you know, given that type of that type of power, that type of stage that he had, um, and especially in that industry, you don't see many black uh, male and female actors being able to put on that stage. And um, for him to be as transcendent as he was, and um, you know, I had an opportunity to spend a, a couple evenings with him, a couple days with him, meet him, and talk to him. Um, you can tell that he was something that was just more than what we saw on the screen. But then you add on the fact that, you know, growing up as a black kid, you had superheroes that you looked up to, but they weren't black. You know, you had Batman, you had Superman, uh, you had Spider-Man, and so on and so on. And for uh, Ryan Coogler and, and, and for that cast and for him himself to be able to make Black Panther, that even though we knew it was like a fictional, uh, story, it actually felt real. It actually felt like we finally had our black superhero and nobody can touch us. You know, so, um, and to lose that, um, it, it's, 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 it's sad in our community. It's sad in our community. And uh, uh, to lose the Black Panther and the Black Mamba in the same year, we can all agree that 2020 is the sh year.